Hello, dear listeners. Welcome back to Learn English with Podcast Conversation. I'm Olivia, and I'm here with Alex. Today, we're diving into fascinating aspects of society that shape our lives. That's right. Olivia will be discussing immigration, globalization, cultural diversity, the impact of social media, and work life balance. These topics are highly relevant in today's interconnected world. Listening to English podcast conversations can greatly enhance your language skills. It helps you understand pronunciation, new vocabulary, intonation, and the rhythm of the language in a natural context. So let's explore these important societal themes together. Ready, Olivia? Absolutely. Alex, let's get started. Immigration is a significant aspect of our society, with people moving to new countries for various reasons like better job opportunities, education, or escaping conflict. These journeys often come with numerous challenges. Immigrants often face challenges such as adjusting to a new culture, language barriers, and finding employment. However, their contributions to the economy and culture of the host country are immense, making them invaluable members of society. That's true, Olivia. Immigrants bring diversity and new perspectives, enriching the cultural fabric of their new homes. Their stories are often filled with resilience and determination, and they inspire others to appreciate the value of perseverance. It's important to understand and support immigrants as they navigate their new lives. By fostering inclusive communities, we can help them integrate more smoothly and recognize the value they add to our communities. Supporting the immigrants is not just a moral duty, but also a way to build stronger, more diverse societies. Globalization has connected the world like never before, allowing for the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures across borders. It has brought both opportunities and challenges to societies worldwide. While globalization has led to economic growth and technological advancements, it has also created challenges such as cultural homogenization and economic disparities. The benefits are often unevenly distributed, leading to debates about its true impact. It's a double-edged sword. Alex, on one hand, people have access to a wider range of products and information. On the other hand, local cultures can sometimes be overshadowed by dominant global influences. This can lead to a loss of cultural heritage and identity. Finding a balance is crucial. Embracing globalization while preserving local identities and traditions is essential for a harmonious global society. We need policies that promote fair trade, cultural exchange, and economic inclusion to ensure that globalization benefits everyone. Additionally, individuals can play a role by supporting local businesses and cultural initiatives. By doing so, we can help maintain the rich tapestry of global cultures and foster a more inclusive and sustainable form of globalization. Cultural diversity makes our world vibrant and interesting. It allows us to learn from each other and appreciate different ways of life. Understanding and celebrating diversity can lead to a more harmonious and innovative society. Every culture has its unique customs, traditions, and values. Celebrating this diversity promotes understanding and respect among people from different backgrounds. It helps break down stereotypes and prejudices. It's fascinating to see how cultural exchange can lead to innovation and creativity. When people from diverse backgrounds collaborate, they bring unique perspectives that can lead to groundbreaking ideas. For example, many of the world's most successful companies thrive on the diverse backgrounds of their employees. Absolutely. Alex, embracing cultural diversity enriches our lives and helps us grow as individuals and as a society. By learning about and appreciating different cultures, we can build a more inclusive and empathetic world. Moreover, cultural diversity in education and the workplace can lead to better decision making and problem solving. Diverse teams are often more creative and innovative, bringing various perspectives to the table. So, let's celebrate and embrace the richness that cultural diversity brings to our lives. 
It not only enhances our personal experiences, but also strengthens our communities and societies. Social media has revolutionized the way we communicate, share information, and connect with others. It's a powerful tool that has reshaped many aspects of our lives. While it has many benefits, such as staying in touch with loved ones and accessing a wealth of information, it also has drawbacks like misinformation and cyberbullying. The impact of social media on mental health is also a growing concern. It's important to use social media responsibly. We should be mindful of the content we consume and share and strive to create a positive online environment. Educating ourselves about digital literacy is crucial to navigate the online world safely. Additionally, social media provides a platform for marginalized voices to be heard. It can foster communities of support and activism, helping to bridge gaps and promote social justice. However, we must also be aware of the potential for echo chambers and filter bubbles. These can limit our exposure to diverse viewpoints and reinforce biases. It's essential to seek out a variety of sources and engage in critical thinking. In conclusion, while social media has its challenges, it also offers immense potential for positive impact. By being mindful and responsible users, we can harness its power for good. Achieving a healthy work-life balance is crucial for our well-being. It allows us to manage our professional and personal lives effectively and reduces stress. In today's fast-paced world, it can be challenging to find this balance. Many people struggle with long working hours and the pressure to constantly perform. This can lead to burnout and negatively impact mental health. It's important to prioritize self-care and set boundaries. Taking breaks, spending time with loved ones, and pursuing hobbies can help maintain a balanced life. Setting realistic goals and delegating tasks when possible can also alleviate stress. Employers also play a role by promoting a healthy work-life balance for their employees. Flexible work arrangements, such as remote work and flexible hours, can make a significant difference. Encouraging a supportive work culture where employees feel valued is essential. Additionally, technology can both help and hinder work-life balance. While it enables remote work and flexibility, it can also blur the lines between work and personal time. Setting clear boundaries around technology use is important. Finding a balance that works for you may require some trial and error. It's about understanding your priorities and making conscious choices to ensure that both your professional and personal needs are met. Remember, achieving work-life balance is an ongoing process. Regularly reassessing your needs and making adjustments as necessary can help you maintain a healthy equilibrium. In conclusion, a balanced life leads to greater overall well-being and productivity. By making intentional choices and seeking support when needed, we can achieve a fulfilling and balanced life. Immigration policies vary widely from country to country, affecting the lives of millions of people seeking new opportunities. These policies can significantly impact immigrants' experiences and their ability to integrate into new societies. Some countries have welcoming policies that facilitate integration, while others have strict regulations that can make the process challenging. Policies that provide support for language learning, education, and employment are crucial. Policies that support immigrants in learning the local language, accessing education, and finding employment can help them integrate successfully. These measures not only benefit immigrants, but also contribute to the host country's economy and social fabric. It's essential for policymakers to consider the long-term benefits of immigration, including economic growth and cultural enrichment. Inclusive policies can lead to more harmonious and prosperous societies. By creating inclusive and supportive policies, countries can harness the potential of immigrants and build stronger, more diverse communities. Supporting immigrants' rights and providing pathways to citizenship are also important steps. 
Moreover, public perception and media representation of immigration can influence policies. Positive narratives that highlight immigrants' contributions can lead to more supportive policies and social attitudes. Community support programs, such as mentorship and community centers, can also play a vital role in helping immigrants adjust to their new environments. These initiatives can provide valuable resources and foster a sense of belonging. In conclusion, immigration policies that prioritize inclusion and support can create a win-win situation for both immigrants and host societies. By recognizing the value of diversity and providing the necessary support, we can build stronger, more inclusive communities. Globalization has led to economic interdependence where countries rely on each other for goods, services, and resources. This interconnectedness has both benefits and challenges. This interconnectedness can drive economic growth and innovation, but it also means that economic downturns in one region can affect others. Managing these interdependencies requires careful planning and cooperation. Diversifying economies and fostering international cooperation are key to managing the risks associated with economic interdependence. By building resilient economies, countries can better withstand global shocks. By working together, countries can create a stable and prosperous global economy that benefits everyone. International organizations, such as the United Nations and the World Trade Organization, play crucial roles in facilitating cooperation and addressing global challenges. Additionally, fair trade practices and ethical sourcing can help ensure that the benefits of globalization are distributed more equitably. Supporting local industries and sustainable practices can also contribute to economic stability. Education and skill development are essential for individuals to thrive in a globalized economy. By investing in education and vocational training, countries can prepare their workforce to adapt to changing economic conditions and opportunities. Moreover, international collaboration in areas such as research and technology can lead to groundbreaking advancements that benefit humanity as a whole. Partnerships between countries and institutions can accelerate progress and address global challenges like climate change and health crises. In conclusion, while globalization brings both opportunities and challenges, a cooperative and inclusive approach can maximize its benefits. By working together, countries can build a more resilient and prosperous global economy that benefits everyone. Cultural exchange programs, such as student exchanges and international festivals, promote understanding and appreciation of different cultures. These experiences can be life-changing, broadening perspectives and fostering global citizenship. These programs provide opportunities for people to experience new cultures firsthand, breaking down stereotypes and building friendships. They also encourage mutual respect and understanding, which are essential for peaceful coexistence. Participating in cultural exchange can be a life-changing experience, broadening one's perspective and fostering a sense of global citizenship. It helps individuals develop empathy and appreciation for cultural differences. Encouraging cultural exchange helps create a more inclusive and empathetic world where diversity is celebrated. By learning from each other, we can build stronger, more connected communities. Additionally, cultural exchange can enhance language skills and boost confidence in communicating across cultural boundaries. These skills are increasingly valuable in our interconnected world. Governments and educational institutions play a crucial role in promoting cultural exchange. By providing funding and support for exchange programs, they can help more people access these enriching experiences. In conclusion, cultural exchange is a powerful tool for promoting global understanding and peace. By fostering connections and mutual respect, we can build a more inclusive and harmonious world. Social media has become a powerful platform for activism, allowing individuals to raise their voices and mobilize support for various causes. 
it has democratized access to information and enabled grassroots movements to gain traction. Hashtags, viral campaigns, and online petitions have brought attention to important social and environmental issues. These tools can amplify voices that might otherwise go unheard and create a sense of solidarity among supporters. While online activism is impactful, it's important to complement it with offline actions to drive real change. Protests, community organizing, and policy advocacy are crucial components of effective activism. Social media can be a powerful tool for raising awareness and driving social change. By using it wisely, we can make a positive impact on society. For instance, social media has been instrumental in organizing social movements and bringing global attention to important issues. Additionally, social media provides a platform for marginalized voices to be heard. It can foster communities of support and activism, helping to bridge gaps and promote social justice. However, we must also be aware of the potential for echo chambers and filter bubbles. These can limit our exposure to diverse viewpoints and reinforce biases. It's essential to seek out a variety of sources and engage in critical thinking. Finding strategies to achieve work-life balance is essential for maintaining mental and physical health. It's about making intentional choices that prioritize both professional and personal well-being. Setting clear boundaries between work and personal time, prioritizing tasks, and delegating when possible are effective strategies. These steps can help prevent burnout and ensure that you have time for relaxation and self-care. Employers can support their employees by offering flexible work hours, remote work options, and promoting a healthy work culture. Encouraging regular breaks and providing wellness programs can also contribute to a balanced work environment. Technology can both help and hinder work-life balance. While it enables remote work and flexibility, it can also blur the lines between work and personal time. Setting clear boundaries around technology use is important. Finding a balance that works for you may require some trial and error. It's about understanding your priorities and making conscious choices to ensure that both your professional and personal needs are met. Remember, achieving work-life balance is an ongoing process. Regularly reassessing your needs and making adjustments as necessary can help you maintain a healthy equilibrium. In conclusion, a balanced life leads to greater overall well-being and productivity. By making intentional choices and seeking support when needed, we can achieve a fulfilling and balanced life. Immigration is not just about moving from one place to another. It's about the human stories behind these journeys. Each immigrant has a unique story filled with hopes, dreams, and challenges. Immigrants often leave behind family, friends, and familiar surroundings in search of a better life. This journey can be both exhilarating and daunting, filled with opportunities and uncertainties. Understanding the personal experiences of immigrants fosters empathy and compassion, helping us support them better. Their stories highlight the resilience and determination required to start anew in a foreign land. By sharing their stories, we can build a more inclusive and understanding society. Recognizing the contributions of immigrants and celebrating their achievements can help combat negative stereotypes and promote social cohesion. Community support programs such as mentorship and language classes can make a significant difference in the lives of immigrants. These initiatives provide the resources and networks necessary for successful integration. In conclusion, by focusing on the human aspect of immigration, we can build a more empathetic and supportive society. Celebrating the resilience and contributions of immigrants enriches our communities and strengthens our social fabric. Globalization has a dual nature, bringing both positive and negative effects. It has opened up new opportunities for trade, travel, and cultural exchange, but it also poses challenges that need to be addressed. 
On the positive side, globalization has facilitated access to a wider range of goods and services, improved communication, and fostered innovation. It has also helped lift millions out of poverty through economic growth and development. However, globalization can also lead to job displacement, income inequality, and cultural erosion. It's important to create policies that mitigate these negative effects and ensure that the benefits of globalization are shared more equitably. Education and lifelong learning are crucial in this context. By equipping people with the skills needed in a globalized economy, we can help them adapt to changing job markets and seize new opportunities. In conclusion, while globalization presents challenges, it also offers immense opportunities. By working together and adopting inclusive policies, we can harness its potential for the benefit of all. Multicultural education is essential in today's diverse societies. It helps students understand and appreciate different cultures, fostering mutual respect and reducing prejudice. Incorporating diverse perspectives into the curriculum can enrich students' learning experiences and prepare them for a globalized world. It also helps students develop critical thinking and empathy. Teachers play a key role in promoting multicultural education. By creating an inclusive classroom environment and using culturally relevant teaching materials, they can support students from diverse backgrounds. It's also important to involve the community in multicultural education. Engaging parents, community leaders, and cultural organizations can provide valuable resources and support for students. In conclusion, multicultural education benefits all students by broadening their perspectives and fostering a more inclusive society. By valuing diversity in education, we can prepare future generations to thrive in a globalized world. While social media connects us with people around the world, it can sometimes undermine personal connections. It's important to strike a balance between online and offline interactions. Spending too much time on social media can lead to feelings of isolation and anxiety. It's crucial to nurture real-life relationships and make time for face-to-face -face interactions. Setting boundaries for social media use, such as limiting screen time and designating tech-free zones, can help maintain a healthy balance. Engaging in activities that promote social connection, like joining clubs or volunteering, can also be beneficial. Social media can still be a valuable tool for maintaining long-distance relationships and staying informed. The key is to use it mindfully and not let it replace meaningful personal interactions. In conclusion, while social media has its place, nurturing personal connections should remain a priority. By striking a balance, we can enjoy the benefits of both online and offline interactions. Immigration plays a significant role in economic growth. Immigrants often bring new skills, ideas, and perspectives that drive innovation and entrepreneurship. Many countries rely on immigrants to fill labor shortages and support key industries. Their contributions can lead to job creation and economic expansion, benefiting both the host country and the immigrants themselves. It's important to recognize and support the economic contributions of immigrants. Policies that facilitate integration and provide access to education and training can help maximize their potential. In conclusion, immigration can be a powerful driver of economic growth. By fostering an inclusive environment and supporting immigrants' contributions, we can build stronger and more dynamic economies. Globalization often leads to the spread of dominant cultures, which can threaten the preservation of local traditions and languages. It's important to find ways to protect and celebrate cultural heritage. Supporting local artists, craftsmen, and cultural initiatives can help preserve unique cultural identities. Education plays a key role in this by teaching younger generations about their cultural heritage. Governments and international organizations can also support cultural preservation through policies and funding. Protecting cultural sites and promoting cultural exchange programs are effective strategies. 
In conclusion, while globalization brings many benefits, it's crucial to preserve and celebrate cultural diversity. By valuing and protecting local traditions, we can enrich our global society. Social media has a significant impact on youth, influencing their behavior, self-esteem, and social interactions. It's important to guide young people in using social media responsibly. Educating youth about digital literacy, privacy, and the potential risks of social media can help them navigate the online world safely. Encouraging positive online behavior and critical thinking is also essential. Parents and educators play a crucial role in monitoring and guiding social media use. Open communication about the benefits and challenges of social media can help young people make informed choices. In conclusion, social media is a powerful tool that can shape young people's lives. By providing guidance and education, we can help them use it in a positive and responsible way. Achieving work-life balance is closely linked to mental health. When work demands become overwhelming, it can lead to stress and burnout, affecting overall well-being. It's important to recognize the signs of burnout and take proactive steps to address it. This can include seeking support from colleagues, taking breaks, and practicing self-care. Employers can support their employees' mental health by promoting a healthy work culture and providing resources for stress management. Flexible work arrangements and wellness programs can make a significant difference. In conclusion, maintaining work-life balance is crucial for mental health. By prioritizing self-care and seeking support when needed, we can achieve a healthier and more fulfilling life. Immigration fosters cultural exchange, bringing diverse traditions and perspectives to host countries. This exchange enriches societies and promotes mutual understanding. Festivals, food, music, and art from different cultures can be shared and celebrated, creating a vibrant and diverse community. Immigrants often introduce new customs and traditions that become part of the cultural fabric. It's important to create spaces where cultural exchange can thrive, such as community centers and cultural festivals. These spaces encourage interaction and appreciation of diversity. In conclusion, immigration and cultural exchange go hand in hand. By celebrating and embracing diversity, we can build more inclusive and dynamic societies. While social media connects people globally, not everyone has equal access to digital technology. The digital divide can exacerbate social inequalities. Efforts to bridge the digital divide, such as providing affordable internet access and digital literacy programs, are crucial. Ensuring that everyone can participate in the digital world promotes equality and inclusion. Social media companies also have a responsibility to consider the needs of underserved communities. Providing tools and resources in multiple languages and accessible formats can help bridge the gap. In conclusion, addressing the digital divide is essential for ensuring that the benefits of social media and digital technology are available to all. By promoting digital inclusion, we can create a more equitable society. Immigrants play a significant role in driving the innovation. Many of the world's most successful companies and groundbreaking technologies have been developed by immigrants. Their diverse perspectives and experiences often lead to creative solutions and new ideas. By embracing and supporting immigrant entrepreneurs, countries can foster a culture of innovation. Policies that encourage immigration and provide support for immigrant entrepreneurs can boost economic growth and technological advancement. Providing access to funding, mentorship, and networking opportunities is crucial. In conclusion, immigration is a key driver of innovation. By recognizing and supporting the contributions of immigrants, we can build more dynamic and forward-thinking societies. Globalization has significant environmental impacts, both positive and negative. While it has facilitated the spread of green technologies, it has also led to increased resource consumption and pollution. Addressing the environmental challenges of globalization requires international cooperation and sustainable practices. 
Policies that promote renewable energy, conservation, and responsible consumption are essential. Individuals can also contribute by making sustainable choices, such as reducing waste, supporting eco-friendly products, and advocating for environmental protection. The impact of social media on mental health is a growing concern. While it can provide support and connection, it can also lead to anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem. It's important to use social media mindfully and set healthy boundaries. Taking regular breaks, curating your feed to include positive and supportive content, and seeking help if needed can improve mental well-being. Social media companies can also play a role by creating features that promote mental health, such as time management tools and content warnings. Encouraging positive online behavior and providing resources for users can make a difference. In conclusion, social media has both positive and negative effects on mental health. By using it responsibly and seeking support when needed, we can mitigate its negative impacts and enhance its benefits. Immigration can have a significant impact on education systems. Diverse classrooms can enrich learning experiences by exposing students to different perspectives and cultures. However, it's important to provide adequate support for immigrant students to ensure their success. This includes language assistance, culturally relevant teaching materials, and access to resources. Teachers play a crucial role in creating an inclusive and supportive learning environment. By embracing diversity and promoting equity, they can help all students thrive. In conclusion, immigration can enhance education by bringing diverse perspectives into the classroom. By providing support and promoting inclusion, we can ensure that all students benefit. Technology has transformed the way we work, offering both opportunities and challenges for work-life balance. While it allows for greater flexibility, it can also blur the boundaries between work and personal time. Setting clear boundaries around technology use, such as designated work hours and tech-free zones, can help maintain balance. Using productivity tools and time management techniques can also improve efficiency and reduce stress. Employers can support work-life balance by promoting healthy tech use and offering flexible work arrangements. Encouraging regular breaks and providing wellness resources can also make a difference. In conclusion, technology can be both a friend and a foe when it comes to work-life balance. By using it mindfully and setting clear boundaries, we can harness its benefits while maintaining a healthy balance. Social integration is a key aspect of successful immigration. It involves building connections between immigrants and the host community, fostering mutual understanding and cooperation. Community programs such as language, classes, cultural events, and mentorship initiatives can facilitate integration. These programs provide immigrants with the resources and networks they need to thrive. It's also important to address barriers to integration, such as discrimination and lack of access to services. Promoting inclusivity and equality can help create a welcoming environment for all. In conclusion, social integration is crucial for the well-being of immigrants and the host community. By supporting integration initiatives and promoting inclusivity, we can build stronger and more cohesive societies. Social media can be a valuable tool in education, providing access to information, fostering collaboration, and enhancing engagement. However, it's important to use it effectively and responsibly. Integrating social media into the classroom can enhance learning experiences by connecting students with experts, resources, and each other. It can also promote digital literacy and critical thinking. Teachers can use social media to create interactive and collaborative learning environments. By setting guidelines and encouraging positive online behavior, they can help students use social media responsibly. In conclusion, social media has the potential to enhance education. By using it mindfully and promoting responsible use, we can leverage its benefits for learning.
Work-life balance varies across cultures, influenced by social norms, work practices, and policies. Understanding these differences can provide insights into effective strategies for achieving balance. In some cultures, work-life balance is prioritized, with policies such as shorter work weeks, generous vacation time, and family-friendly practices. These policies can lead to higher job satisfaction and well-being. Learning from different cultural approaches to work-life balance can inspire positive changes. Employers and policymakers can adopt practices that promote balance and well-being, benefiting employees and organizations. In conclusion, exploring work-life balance across cultures can provide valuable insights. By adopting effective practices and policies, we can create healthier and more fulfilling work environments. The future of immigration will be shaped by various factors, including economic trends, political developments, and global challenges. Understanding these trends can help us prepare for the future. Climate change, for example, is expected to drive significant migration in the coming decades. Addressing the root causes and supporting affected communities will be crucial. Technological advancements and changing job markets will also influence immigration patterns. Preparing for these changes requires forward-thinking policies and investments in education and training. In conclusion, the future of immigration presents both challenges and opportunities. By anticipating trends and adopting proactive policies, we can navigate these changes and build a more inclusive world. Social media has become a powerful tool for civic engagement, enabling individuals to participate in public discourse, mobilize for causes, and hold leaders accountable. Online platforms provide a space for people to voice their opinions, share information, and organize collective actions. This can lead to greater transparency and democratic participation. However, it's important to be aware of the potential for misinformation and echo chambers. Critical thinking and media literacy are essential for navigating the digital landscape. In conclusion, social media can enhance civic engagement by providing a platform for participation and dialogue. By using it responsibly and promoting media literacy, we can strengthen democratic processes and civic life. In conclusion, understanding and addressing the complexities of immigration, globalization, cultural diversity, social media impact, and work-life balance is crucial in our interconnected world. By fostering empathy, promoting inclusivity, and making informed choices, we can create a more harmonious and thriving society for everyone. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey, and we look forward to exploring more thought-provoking topics with you in future episodes.